Hi friends, my name is Dr. Vandana Jain. I'm a cornea cataract and LASIK surgeon. Today I want to talk about the relevance and importance of pre-LASIK tests. Let me start with the story of Manisha. Manisha came to me wanting to get her LASIK done. She wanted it immediately. When I explained to her about pre-LASIK tests, she said, but LASIK everybody can do. What is the need for these tests? So let's talk about what is the need for these tests. We need to make sure of two very basic things when these tests are done. One is the suitability and safety of LASIK for a person's eye. And secondly, which procedure is the best procedure? Because now we have many different types of LASIK. We have LASIK, we have femtolasic, we have smile LASIK and we have advanced surface ablation. So we want to make sure that the procedure which is chosen for a particular patient is the most suitable for that person. So we start with very basic thing like a detailed history taking. In that we try to assess that a patient should not have any kind of uncontrolled autoimmune disease like rheumatoid arthritis, uncontrolled diabetes mellitus, patient should not be on any kind of psychiatric medicines, patient should not be pregnant, or should not be on any kind of hormonal treatment because these are the conditions where a patient is not suitable for LASIK. Then we start with very basic checkup like the eye power checkup. In the eye power checkup, we try to assess one, the stability of the eye power. Secondly, we try to assess the variation of the eye power with and without the dilating drops. This knowledge is important for us to plan what numbers we have to remove for the patient in case there is a variation. Also, for people where the powers have not been stable, we may advise them to defer LASIK surgery till the powers are stable. After that, we do a battery of tests, starting with corneal assessment, things like corneal topography. When we do the corneal topography, we try to assess two, three things. One, the safety of the procedure. The corneal topography tells us about the health of the cornea. There should not be any kind of disease like keratoconus, which may make the procedure unsafe for the patient. Second thing is corneal thickness and corneal aberrations. With the corneal thickness and aberration assessment, we can decide first of all whether the patient is suitable for the procedure. Secondly, which type of procedure. For example, if there are lots of corneal aberrations and cornea is thin, we may decide on contour treatment or we may decide on a PRK procedure. So all of that knowledge is very, very important to ensure suitability of the procedure for the patient. Post that, we do other tests like dry eye assessment. In the dry eye assessment, we try to make sure that patients should not have too much of pre-existing dryness because that can jeopardize the safety of the procedure in the future. Then muscle balance testing is another test that is done to ensure there is no imbalance to begin with. And then there are series of other tests which are done to ensure that eye structures other than the cornea are also normal. For example, the health of the retina, the health of the optic nerve, which is assessed through the pressure and through a detailed retinal evaluation. If required, then we also do some other tests based on case by case requirement. So to sum it up, pre-LASIK evaluation is something which is extremely important for anybody who is planning to get a LASIK done. These tests are painless, they are quick and they can be done in just one go. With that, we get to know whether the procedure is suitable for your eyes, is it safe for your eyes and also we are able to match the best type of LASIK for your eyes. Basically, personalize the procedure for your eyes which will match the aberrations, the topography profile and other factors which exist in your life, in your eyes and professionally which is the best for you. So please get your pre-LASIK evaluation whenever you are thinking about your LASIK.